we have trained edu uh, awareness programs for patients and educational material as well. This is our website for the Ramzan study group. We have got 12 publications already done pertaining to Ramadan. And you can imagine that it's very important to have scientific or evidence-based data for safe fasting, especially in cases like elderly, like type 1, like gestational diabetes, like people with CKD and CCF, etc. So we are doing studies in this regard, all biochemistry involved. Before 2005, there was hardly biochemical involved fasting studies. If there were studies, they were molecule based. So it's the safety of a molecule compared to placebo. But what we are doing is whatever the patients are taking, patients want to do fasting as per their own needs because it's their religious obligation. So instead of changing their beliefs, we work on safe fasting the way they are clinically managing their diabetes. We are hence uh, part of a Diabetes and Ramadan International Alliance, which is a big forum led by Muhammad Hassanain uh, from Egypt, now Dubai-based, uh, trained in UK. Uh, these are the guidelines published, Diabetes and Ramadan Practical Guidelines, published only recently in Diabetes Research and Clinical Practice. And I and Professor Yaqub have the honor to be authors and co-authors in this important document. The other community issue which needs to be addressed is maternal child health. So gestational diabetes. We are working in collaboration with Society of Obs and Gynae in Pakistan. We are working with EU in this 17 centers, eight countries, genomic study, GIFT study, going to have data published next year as regards the birth weight dependent on maternal intrauterine milieu and their insulin resistance and glucose homeostasis. We have got a GDM advocacy board developed in 2014. Chairperson, uh, Professor Zaida Bakai, Vice Chancellor of our university, and Professor Noorjan Samad, uh, wife of Professor Samad Shera Saab, who has done work in gestational diabetes. The idea behind GDM advocacy board was to develop GDM guidelines for Pakistan. This is our stream for maternal and child health stream, developing the work from the conference I just mentioned in 2016. We have already developed three GDM centers, 20 GDM clinics, again a project funded by World Diabetes Foundation. We have trained 568 healthcare professionals for gestational diabetes and nurses, etc. These are the training glimpses. We plan to screen 25,000 women. And we are comparing the various methods of GDM screening in this project. So what we expect is that once we have completed, so far 12,000 ladies has been screened. The GDM frequency preliminary results are nearly 12% which is comparable with what comes out from Chennai, what comes out from Bangladesh. Once the 25,000 ladies are screened, we then expect to have clear-cut recommendation for a screening test for Pakistan. Perhaps it can be worked out with people from India, from, from Myanmar, from Bangladesh, etc. I know there's a document right now being prepared by Pakistan Endocrine Society uh, with the Forum of South Asian Federation of Endocrine Societies uh, for gestational diabetes. We are very much part of it, and we are suggesting that once the data comes out, we may be able in a better position to modify the data, mod modify the document as per the data for the recommendations of a screening test for gestational diabetes. C-Firm, caring for well-being.